Ladies and gentlemen, such wonderful music and such beautiful words. The unlikely story of Joe Cattini reads like a thrilling children's book. You go from one surprise to the next. And how did he survive it all? Like page turner that keeps you from switching off the light. And luckily, the story ends well. There's nothing better than a happy ending. But there are many other stories, and most didn't end that well. The war cemeteries in our area testify to that. You can visit them here in Eindhoven at the Oude Tore Cemetery, the Geldropseweg between Geldrop and Mierlo, or at the Luikerweg in Valkenswaard. Boys, sometimes as young as 17 or 18 years. Joe's story is extraordinary. Again and again, he found himself on the front line at key moments in Western European history. Joe was lucky. He was often in the right place at the right time. Right next to him, Shrapple fatally wounded his best friend, yet Joe was unscathed. Just one of the very few. Try to imagine what it must have been like for Joe's parents, for his home front. Getting reliable as well as up-to-date news was very rare. The lines of communication were few and far between. Forget the internet, wireless phones, phones with cameras and WhatsApp. None of that was available. For lack of better, they sometimes communicated with carrier pigeons with a note tied to their legs. And you just had to hope that the poor thing flew in the right direction and didn't get shot down. I have mentioned key moments. Joe experienced four more. The first was D-Day, then Market Garden, then the Ardenne Offensive, and finally the battle for the Reichswald. One battle even more gruesome than the next. Sadly, more and more people in Great Britain and elsewhere received word that their sons had been killed. But not the Catini family. No news turned out to be good news. Finally, Joe returned home, healthy in body and soul. Ladies and gentlemen, if all goes well, Joe Catini will turn 100 years old this Tuesday. Bullets, bombs, and shells did not stop him nor did disease. Visiting Eindhoven to attend this special concert is now no longer possible for Joe, but that doesn't matter. Joe has been to Eindhoven so many times, it's high time we went to see him. And that's why a Eindhoven delegation will go to England on the day after tomorrow to celebrate Joe's 100th birthday in Southampton. Obviously, the delegation will not go empty-handed across the channel. On the contrary, it will bring something special, a symbolic and unique decoration. Ladies and gentlemen, no one makes a city by him or herself. We must work together, shoulder by shoulder. But we can't deny that some people have gone above and beyond their duty to Eindhoven and the development of our city. Here in Eindhoven, we have the city's badge of honor for people who deserve special merit from our city. And the Eindhoven Municipal Council does not award this distinction lightly. This badge of honor is only awarded if and when the Municipal Council agrees that the decorated person meets the most stringent requirements. And that is most certainly the case for Joe Cattini. Two arguments were decisive for the Council. First of all, Joe Cattini's contribution, of course, to the liberation of Eindhoven. This ended four long years of fear, repression, and terror. But perhaps even more important are Joe Cattini's post-war efforts to keep the memories of the time of the war and liberation alive. He attended the commemoration commemoration on the 18th of September at least nine times. He visited Eindhoven schools and told pupils about the war. 
He stressed to them that war is not glorious, but horrific, not exciting, but scary, not thrilling, but destructive, and that peace is an important but fragile thing that is worth fighting for. It was then and is still true today more than ever before. Mr. Catini, you may not be here today, but I'm sure this message will reach you the day after tomorrow. On behalf of all the residents of Eindhoven, I thank you for your fantastic commitment to the city. Our appreciation is great. You have and will always have a place in our hearts and the gallery of honor of our honorary citizens. You are one of our 65 honorary citizens now and only the second honorary city citizen not to live in the Netherlands. That other honorary cit citizen was an American colleague of yours, Major Richard Winters of the 101st Airborne Division, who passed away in 2011. At some points, your paths, your paths have crossed. On the 18th of September, 1944, you were both engaged in the liberation of Eindhoven. Mr. Catini, many congratulations on this batch of honor and on your 100th birthday. Thank you. I would like, I would like to ask Peter Kemp to come forward and uh, to do the honor and to take uh, this with him when he goes to...